Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two. How's it going out there, everyone? Uh, this is going to be a live stream on mode stuff. I did a little poll on the old YouTube channel here asking you guys about different aspects of the modes. And a lot of you just wanted a basic explanation of the modes. So the modes become... Oh, and I also want to say something else about music theory and the modes. Uh, one of the most amazing guitar players uh, alive, like in his prime, is Guthrie Trap. I mean, there's a bunch of them, but Guthrie Trap's an amazing guitar player. And uh, there was one instance where we were hanging out, and I was like, you know, like a G. Dorian, a G. Dorian jam. And he was like, I don't know what that means, right? So, and it's true. He can play modes, he can play anything, but he doesn't necessarily know... The description of it he's just an amazing musician right so what i'm saying is you don't need music theory or the modes to to be amazing but for like normal people like myself it has helped me understand music and give me more tools in the toolbox you know uh everyone loves more tools in their toolbox so that's kind of what the modes can be um now, they're a lot easier to understand if you just know the basic major scale. Now, the major scale is do, re, mi, you know, that thing, right? It's the first thing in music that we, that we learn a lot, or, you know, in the traditional sense of learning music. Seven notes. I can play that right. I can play it anywhere. I can play it here. So it's a pattern of notes together, and that is a scale, a key, the major scale. Here's the C major scale in this open position that a lot of beginner, like in the olden days, if you went into a music store or were taking some kind of guitar lessons, they would show you this C major scale because it's the easiest to read music sight read music right so you don't need to read music either to be an amazing musician but in the traditional education sense they used the on guitar they use the c major scale because they're uh for reading music it's the easiest but so this position right here it was the first thing a lot of players learned back in the like mel book mel bay book days so check it out <laughs> That was seven notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the one again. You can hear that pattern, right? It continues to go up octave after octave until you run out of room on the instrument. And then you run out of room. But when you take those notes and you stack them, like if I took the first note and then skipped the next note in the scale, but then played the next one. So in other words, if I just take groups from that scale, you then get the chords from that scale. So C major scale. Each one of those notes is a chord. C major is the one chord. D minor is the two chord. E minor is the three chord. F is the four chord. G is the five chord. A minor is the six chord. And then the seven chord is called a minor seven flat five. And we don't really use that chord that way in any kind of mainstream music. So it's really about the six, the six chords, the six tones, and the six chords of it. So C, D minor, E minor, F, G, A minor. And then I can go G7 to give it tension to go back to the one chord. So listen to that. Can you hear that it sounds very similar to?
So you're harmonizing that, those, those notes. So then if I made a chord progression from all of that and I used that one note, the one tone and the one chord as my foundation, my starting point, then all the other chords are being heard and referenced off of that first chord. So like a classic one would be the progression of uh, No Woman, No Cry. So I just played that progression, but if I took those uh, notes, I can improvise any of those seven notes to then play a melody. So... So I'm using all those chords in a progression. And yeah, sometimes there's digital crackling just from the stream. Let's just keep going here. I can't sit and start twiddling with with uh, wires and stuff, so hopefully you still get something from this. <clears throat> okay, so thank you for the super chats, everybody. Really appreciate it. Okay, so the only th uh, what you're doing when you're playing a mode is you're just playing another one of those chords from that scale uh, and thinking of that as the root. But nothing changes. The, the seven notes don't change and the seven chords don't change. The only thing that changes is what our root is or what we're thinking of as home base. So in that same scale, C major and everything, if I just took... Uh, the A minor and played A minor, D minor, and E minor. Those are all still from the same uh, scale and same key, but I'm thinking of A minor now, and we're hearing, more importantly, our ear is hearing A minor as the root, but nothing's changed. The scale hasn't changed. The chords haven't changed. We've only changed what we hear as the root, and so that is another mode of the major scale. So I'll show you that. Think of something. So there isn't even a C major chord in that, but it's from the C major scale. So I'm playing A minor, E minor, G, A minor, and I can play that same. But the only thing different is A to A is what we want to hear it as. So that same scale. But instead, I'm just going to start and end it with the A of the same everything, but just start and end with A. I didn't change a thing. So over that progression, even more you'll hear it. So all I'm doing is playing the C major scale over this. But A is the root. change the feel of it without changing anything other than what we're shifting as our root okay 
So now what I want to do is I'm just going to go through the, 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 the modes. I'll go through them all, and I'm going to do them all where I'm just droning a root note. I'm going to change the key. We're not in C major anymore. I'm going to just drone an A note. And I want you to participate with me, please. So. All right, so, I, so I've got that drone. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to play the modes in that A key. So I am gonna be changing scales in, in this way. Oh, and also I do have a modes course at martymusic.com on sale right now until Monday, 75% off. I know, it's crazy. Anyway, so I'm gonna drone. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna start with the major scale. Now it does have a Greek mode name if you want but it's still the same thing. It's Ionian. So I'm going to drone that A, and for a minute here before I, I'm going to, I want you, anyone watching right now to just comment the mood of each of the modes. So the first one we're going to do here is the major scale, which has that happy sound, but I'm just going to drone over A and play the A Ionian or the A major scale over that. So when I start playing the notes of the scale, A major or A Ionian, describe the emotional feeling of it. Also, I turned the volume down a little bit on my interface. If you can let me know if the crackling's gone down a bit. Hopefully it has, but probably not as loud. But anyway, yeah, that adventure feeling, that triumph and all that Indiana Jones, Star Wars, but just like, but even like, you know, it's like our baseline happy, happy feeling, you know. Uh, Same drone. I'm going to play the second mode. It's called A Dorian. It's going to sound completely different with that same drone. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep playing A major, then I'm going to switch to A Dorian. And you just start describing what that A Dorian, what it reminds you of. Here we go. Starts with A major, and then I'll shift to A Dorian.
a few things in there. They're sneaky. That's definitely true because of because of this kind of thing. Um, you hear it like. Yeah, someone says it reminds me of Santana. So it is. It is the Santana scale. Um, and I can make it sound even more like Santana right here. then also Charlie Sheen going up the river in Vietnam, the movie, that's how it makes me feel. Well, now you're thinking like the Doors who were doing like drone psychedelic stuff in evil ways is Dorian, yes. So you could even think, wow, okay. So Dorian has lots of that Santana thing. It all, uh, 60s and 70s used it a lot. Um, here's a really good use of the Dorian as well. This is a Dorian. This is a Dorian with one extra just chromatic note, but this, what I'm about to right now is A Dorian. Check it out. a Dorian. All right, I'm going to drone again. I'm droning on. Get it? Uh, very Santana, yeah. So now I'm going to go to the uh, third mode. It's it's a pretty weird one, so I'm gonna start playing a Phrygian over that a drone. Tell me what you hear now. It's gonna be obvious. some good ones in there uh, dirty and spanish flavorings and then dark death and destruction and what you're hearing is when we're playing that you're hearing uh that flat two <laughs> Black is similar in, in the sense that it has that those dark half steps, but that's actually a different uh, painted black's more like a scale called the harmonic minor, which is is not one of the modes. Well, it's it's an altered mode, but. <laughs> So that's a different scale. Okay, so now let's go 
to Lydian. So I'm going to keep this drone. So I'm now going to play the fourth mode. It's Lydian. This is a Lydian right now. Tell me what you feel here, what it reminds you of. A Lydian. Here we go. So what I, I tried to turn down a little bit. Yeah, Zelda, that's a good. I'm sure there's themes in Zelda that are using that. But is uh, you guys can still hear me okay? I turned down just because I was trying to have less digital crackling, finding that sweet spot. Yeah, a uh, lot of soundtrack, sci-fi soundtrack stuff. Um, Yeah, Lydian is what you're hearing in, okay, Jeremy can hear me just fine. Adventure-y. Well, okay, here's some of the, uh, every Tim Burton score uses Lydian. So the old Batman theme, the sim he wrote the Simpsons theme. That means that, uh, oh, uh, Danny Elfman. All the Danny Elfman scores are Lydian. That's his vibe, is Lydian. Low sound now. My mic's too low. All right. Yo, I, well, I turned the compression off, so I just turned it up now. How's that? Better? I mean, I did just turn it up. All right. So, ba 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 ba. Yeah, no, it's up again. Uh, okay, they said it's better. You know, you got to find a sweet spot where it's not giving you that overdriven crackling, but then that you can still hear it. That's tricky. I'm by myself today. Thank you, Lincoln. Uh, oh, Lydian, the Lydian mode. <laughs> So the Back to the Future theme is Lydian. Fantasy vibe. Yeah. Science fiction themes, movie themes. It, uh, you know, all these different, uh, well, I can get new cables. So that's all I can do, but I can't do it right now. Uh, hey, Marty, you know how to make a Robbie Krieger style guitar solo? That was definitely, he did a lot of that. Uh, Dorian. But he would also just experiment with other, like, other outside notes just to be, like, all psychedelic. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, okay, so that was uh, Lydian. Okay, so, yeah, and since I'm live streaming with uh, just to YouTube... The problem is I can do it to my phone, or I mean, I live stream from my phone, but then the sound, you won't hear my speaking voice as well. You know, so it's never going to be perfect, but I don't want to get distracted by that. All right. So now we're at the one that, like, can be used constantly. It's where you get a dominant seven chord from, and that's the Mixolydian. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, here's Mixolydian. <laughs> So that's Mixolydian. Uh, sorry, I'm just reading some comments there. Yeah, so Mixolydian, and in the very intro of this live stream, which, you know, you can go back and check out. Um, okay, sorry, looking at your comments at the same time. So one really cool thing of Mixolydian like what I was doing in the intro was I was doing a like a, a D Hendrix chord, so like D seven sharp nine. And then I go to a G seven. Then up to an A seven to turn it around. And this is just one great example of like really using Mixolydian. Um, for the D seven sharp nine, I just do D minor pentatonic D blues. Oh, James Polito bought the modes class today that's on sale so thank you so much really appreciate that by the way Mateo Mendoza feels like this is pre-recorded well I must be psychic then if I pre-recorded this right at the time that you typed that now what do you think about that buddy um, so D blues for the D Hendrix and then over the four chord G7 <laughs> Joey is my cat. Uh, so for the G7, I play G Mixolydian. So I could just do it right here just to show you. If you're feeling uninspired, uh, learn the um, this position of G Mixolydian. G Mixolydian over a G7 chord. Middle finger starting on the third fret E. So three to five and then two, three, five, two, three, five, two, four, five, three, five, six, three, five. And now you have a new sound to help you try something to get out of your rut. So I'm gonna play that shape just over the G7 chord. All the other stuff, I'm gonna play D blues. Check it out.
something really cool about the scale I was just playing there. Yeah, I changed scales. That's the six mode. That is Aeolian, but it's also just the natural minor scale. That exact scale I was playing was the very first scale I talked about in today's live stream. I brought it back to the beginning. The A Aeolian scale that I was just playing there is the exact same notes as the C major scale. And then the seventh mode is not used in that function. So that's all of them. So that was the Aeolian, which is just the natural minor scale. So there's really two major modes that are predominantly used in like mainstream music and two minor modes that are mainly used. And so the uh, major scale, uh, uh, and then the other major mode that's used all the time would be Mixolydian, which is my favorite and a bunch of other bands' favorite, you know, it'd sound more like... And then, so, major scale and mixolydian are the two kind of major -y modes. And then Aeolian and Dorian, or Dorian and Aeolian, are the two minor modes that are used all the lot, uh, all the time, a lot. I combine those words, I'm getting tired. Um, Dorian is the minor mode that you, that's like the happier of the two minor modes, and Aeolian is the sadder of the two. And I'll show you what I mean using A minor. So, A minor... A Dorian has an A minor chord and a D major or a D7 or a D dominant. Sounds like this.
And so you do hear that evil ways and Oya Como Va just right off the top of the bat, you know. All the funk of the 70s, like... That's a Dorian as well. And then a song like Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone, that's a Aeolian. And because it has a D minor, you don't have to understand why, but it's got a D minor chord in there instead of a D7 chord. So A minor to D7. But A minor to D minor is much sadder, darker. And so... James Brown, yes, is very Dorian and Mixolydian. Because when you do... That's an E9 chord that comes from E Mixolydian. Uh, so, Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone. That would be A Aeolian, not A Dorian. minor, or sorry, E minor to D minor. Sadder. Sadder. Um, something else I want to say. I'll go back to the beginning where I said Guthrie Trap doesn't know the modes this way. He knows them this way. He can make us any sound. He can make his guitar sound like anything, and he's amazing, but he didn't sit and break this stuff down. He does understand it, but he doesn't understand it in this language. He has completely internalized it, so that's one thing. Another thing is when you take the half steps away from these seven-note scales... When you take the half steps away, you're you're really left with the pentatonic. And so if there's like two minor modes, the same pentatonic is underneath both. So it's like if you really know the pentatonic really well, major and minor pentatonic, then you'll start to visualize the half steps of the modes that you can add and you'll recognize the sounds that you can add to them. And it has nothing to do with even understanding theory anymore. You know, you just keep playing and you start to learn like things that always work over certain situations that what that is what music theory is but if it's only like inside your own understanding then maybe you don't officially know music theory but if you make something sound good you're using it it just might be in a different way that you you know that you do it okay so let me do a few shout outs this is one of a very lo long live stream i took a long break by the way how this how's the sound right now i'll, I'll try and you know lock everything in the way it is right now it's sounding better you can hear me talk but it's not i don't mind a little bit of crackling but you can like hear what's going on hmm, my mouth's dry okay zock x sweet children tyler you'll just have to crank it up as loud as you can make it bro most people are saying it's good. Did I fire Brian? No, I did not fire Brian. Brian's got a life outside of this. No, he had something going on. He couldn't do it. He's always invited. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Philip Savage, Tyler Jurgens. Well, it's over anyway. Uh, Undersco says, Marty, do you have a suggestion to learn to progress through all the different scales? Well, 75% off my modes course goes through all of this stuff for like, this was 46 minutes. My modes course, it's like 15 hours long that goes step by step. You can track, you know, it starts by everything I did, but way more in order with document, you know, with tabs and diagrams all that stuff 
You don't have if you can't afford it, totally fine. But that's literally everything I'm talking about is in that course at martymusic.com. Um, James Ashcroft, is there a good cheap guitar? There's tons of good cheap guitars these days, but I like Epiphone. I work with Gibson and Epiphone, so I'm biased. They don't force me to say that, but they're awesome and they treat me so great. How can I not recommend something that I believe in, even if I do work with them? They're awesome. Epiphone. Oh. Uh, Wow, Blown Speakers, favorite Springsteen song? I haven't gotten super deep into the Springsteen catalog, but probably I'm on Fire. That's a super moody, great song. Uh, thank you, Tyler Jurgens. I appreciate it. Greg Levinson, thank you so much. Stephen Hardy, thank you. Uh, Lincoln Johnson, Epiphone 59 is a great guitar. You can get one of the No Frills Epiphone Les Pauls for pretty affordable, and they're, they play they play really great. They sound good. There's some. I just gave one away, you guys. I played that New York show. Um, Sam Sutherland, you can watch back. You'll get a lot from it, I think. Uh, okay, so yeah, so I played in New York, and I... I went into a music store in Long Island and I bought a Epiphone Les Paul that they had. It was under 400 bucks and I didn't want to give it away. I uh but I did. And uh, the winner was totally worthy of it. So it was awesome, but it played awesome, it, you know, stayed in tune, sounded great. Everything about it was just really awesome. Someone asked me, "Do I like John Mayer?" Yes, I like John Mayer. Uh, Matt Smith says, is the Modes course similar to the Music Theory 101? No, it's not similar. Uh, the Modes course is much, much, much larger than the Theory course. And a lot more playing. Not as much, I mean, there's concepts, but it's way more like play, you know, way more guitar playing. Uh... Parker, get your pentatonics down, major and minor. Nail them. Any key, anything's happening. If if it's a B flat blues, be able to know that you can plug in the B flat minor pentatonic and how to plug it in. And once you know it in the main position, then learn the extensions. Once you get that down, then you do that same pentatonic where the root would be on the A string. So I said a B flat, it would be right here. And then once you get that down, then the extension for that. So really, ultimately, two devices, you're playing pentatonic up and down the whole neck. Then you learn to just change it to its major form. You don't have to learn any new stuff. And you can play the major form. Then you can add half steps, and it's all the modes. Really work on your pentatonic. Okay? Speaking of that, here's a B-flat blues. couple more shout outs dm underscore david hayes how do i get you to sign my guitar how do i get a signed one david hayes uh well i'm going to be in nashville at a, an a event that's open to the public uh june 28th in nashville at the gibson garage not only would i sign your guitar but you'd actually come up and play with me and the band that i have um so that's an event i do about every six weeks nashville is an amazing destination city for music a million amazing things. If you like music, you can go there and do all kinds of stuff, including stopping by the Gibson Garage and jamming with me, and I'll sign your guitar. So June 28th, you can do that. Um, June 8th and 9th, June 8th, 9th, June 8th, 9th, 10th, 10th, I'm going to be in Vail, Colorado. That's coming right up. So I'm going to be in Vail, Colorado at the... Um, uh, mountain games but there's a whole music uh, element to it guys from the uh the two brothers from the black crows are playing it um goose is playing it um a great band from colorado that i used to know the motet 
Um, so there's going to be a whole thing going on there that basically second week of June where I'll be all around Vail, Colorado. Won't be hard to find me there, so that's another thing. Um, and then I will be August 22nd, uh, my signature guitar Epiphone ES335 is coming out. And so that's August 22nd, so I'll be around uh, Nashville um, during that time as, as well. But yeah, June 28th at the Gibson Garage. The Gibson Garage is the Gibson Guitar Showroom, and also it's at their headquarters that's in downtown Nashville, the Gibson Garage. Okay, so appreciate you guys. Uh, once again, that modes course is for sale through Monday. Monday at midnight, it ends, and so it's it's 75% uh, off. I know that sounds crazy. Um, but so you guys can learn everything I did in this live stream is goes into great detail with written documentation at martymusic.com, Modes Masterclass. All right, so finding your pentatonic. Uh, I said B-flat blues, so your first pentatonic that you should really get down before you learn a bunch of other scales is just the home row minor pentatonic. So if it's B-flat, then it would be the 6th fret, and I would go 6-9, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 6-8, 